Hey my honeys, I hope you're all well and great. So for today's video, I will be doing this hair installation. This is a video that you guys have been requesting, so I decided on doing it. Just a bit of a background with regards to the hair. This hair is from Sky Diva. They are situated in Johannesburg and Pretoria and Durban as well. I think they also have a branch in East London, but I'm not quite sure. I know that here in Cape Town, they've closed. So I got this hair from Sky Diva. This was in 2018 for my first graduation. So I've had this hair for four years now i got this hair when we were still doing closures um so not the full ear to ear it is only last year which is 2021 where i decided to get a full ear to ear closure and i got it from elegant hair however a different person made the wig for me and he did a bad job i'll show you why i say he did a bad job later in the video so I start by blow drying the hair and I'm doing this on the canvas as you guys can see. Um, I got this canvas from Take A Lot. I think I spent roughly about 450. I also got the stand from Chinatown. So if you guys were wondering, that's where I got these items from. So I blow dry this hair until it's sleek and flat and it's giving i wanted to give what it's supposed to give so the reason i'm doing it on the canvas is because i really can't work on my head like i can't work with the weave when it's on me so that's why i prefer doing it on a canvas and i find that it's much easier to work with it when it's on a canvas so if you are a person that's looking to do your own wigs i suggest you try this out and see how it works for you i then go in with my care serum this serum is supposed to give your hair the shine it needs and in my personal opinion it also makes the wig looks sleek and silkier and more nicer it gives it the shine it needs i just apply enough serum so that the weave does not look hydrated i don't apply too much because i don't want it to look as if it's wet it's a wet weave i know you guys know those weaves where it just looks like it's wet so i'm trying to make it look more nicer and give it what it needs I then go in with my iron and I'm doing it layer by layer. I'm also using a comb while ironing my hair. I'm doing this because I want my weave to look more flatter and more slick. I also go in with my wax stick and I use it at the front of the hair. I'm doing this because I want it to look flat as well. You guys don't understand. I like it when my hair is flat because I just find that it's much easier to work with when you um sort of like putting it on your hair. It's much easier to work with. So I just make sure that it is flat and it is to my liking. So over here, I'm sure you guys can see why I say that the person who did my hair did not do it to my liking because you will see here on the side that there is some sort of kneading. So whenever I am wearing this weave, I've got to find a way to sort of like hide that spot. At this point, I'm sure you guys can see the spot that I'm talking about. It's visible now. So um, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to measure where I'd like my weave to sit. And then I'm going in with my ghost bond. I must say, this is by far the best glue I've ever used. So I'm using a stick to apply this ghost bond. So I'm applying the ghost bond. And as I'm applying it, you realize that I'm pushing it towards the back because it must be thin. It mustn't be thick and it mustn't be too much. So that's why I'm pushing it towards the back after applying it. I'm applying the ghost bond on my forehead and then i'll go ahead and do the sides a bit later so i'll wait for it to get a bit dry and reapply it again so i'm applying it twice the reason i'm doubling it is because i want my weave to last longer so before applying the second coat you must wait for the first one to dry off and then apply the second one So at this point, I'm just waiting for the glue to dry off. When it dries off, you'll see that it becomes clear. As you guys can see on my forehead, it's becoming clear. And then afterwards, I take the weave and I press it onto my skin. As you guys can see, it is melting immediately after applying it. So you'll see that it just melts onto my skin. And then afterwards, I use the back of the comb and I make sure that I press it so that the melt is perfect and you can't really tell where the weave starts and where it ends. 
So this is how I achieve this. After completing that, I deal now with the sides. I'm basically doing the same process, applying the ghost bond and I'm waiting for it to dry. And afterwards, I'm doubling it up again and doing it on the other side as well. So I'll wait for it to dry as well. When the glue dries off and then I'll press the wig on, you realize that where I'm applying this glue, there's sort of like hair on the side. And that's because I've got a big forehead and that is why i'm applying it like this that's why i don't know how to explain this but if you have a normal forehead i'm guessing it won't be on top of hair but my head or my forehead just does not work like that so that's why i'm applying it on um hair as well So I just wanted to let it out there. Ghost Bond is one of the best products that I have ever used. I've used other products before, but this one works like no one's business. Literally, this hair can last up until a week on my head. And I am one person who does not like changing wigs on a weekly basis. So I am happy when it lasts for like a week or two. I am happy with that. So that's why I love Ghost Bond. At this point guys I'm just trying to check if there are any spots where I've left out if they are then I reapply the glue onto the spots that I've left out and spots that are lifting up so that's what I do I just apply or reapply the glue so that it is perfectly laid. I'm now moving on to baby hair so for baby hair I use mousse so I start off with mousse and the reason why I'm doing baby hairs is because of this scar that is on the side of this wig so unfortunately I have to do baby hairs in order for me to hide this thing I must say I'm not perfect with baby hairs but I try hair like literally I try by all means but yeah guys this is how I do my baby hairs this is how I achieve it and after I'm um, finishing with the baby hair I go in with the glue and apply glue on top of it so this is the got to be glue that I will be applying on top of um, the mousse I just find it much easier when I'm working like that unlike starting with the glue where I can make mistakes I find that starting with the mousse is much easier and then um, applying the glue afterwards I find that that is much easier for me
After finishing with the baby hair, I am now styling the hair and I feel like doing a middle path, so that is what I am going with. I'm now going in with my got to be liquid spray. I spray the spray on the parts where I applied the glue and I also apply it where I feel like it should be. The reason I'm putting on the got to be spray is because I feel like it corrects whatever errors that I made. So afterwards I put on a pantyhose to make sure that it is laid down correctly and it is to my liking. This is it you guys and then I put on makeup on this side and afterwards boom bob's your uncle there we go this is how it looks this is how it's laid this is how the hair is so it's beautiful hair it is nice it's good quality i've had this hair for four years now and i'm still loving it i love the hair it's by far one of the best hair that i have um besides the scar that i have on the side child i love this weave it is giving what it's supposed to give i feel like this is good hair that's why i can't let go off of this hair maybe i might change the closure but i definitely love the hair because it's lasted so long and i think it's good quality hair so yeah guys this is it thank you so much for tuning in if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and also subscribe also please don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of future uploads until next time it is peace from me bye Thank you.